Is Coach Calipari heading to Arkansas? It sounds like it. We're going to have that conversation right here on the Wildcats Today podcast. I'm your host, Andrew Stefaniak, writer and editor over at Wildcats Today, joined as always by my co-host, Carson Nash. Carson, what the heck? Chaos has ensued on the college basketball world. It's crazy. I, I, I don't even know. And you know, I, just, I do want to say we will be, you know, covering all this over Wildcats today. So check everything out over there on the website. But listen, it's crazy. I mean, Coach Calipari has been here since I've been in diapers. You know I mean, he got here when, when I was probably eight. So you can laugh. I know it's early, but you can laugh. <laughs> Thank you. But it like all kidding aside, like this is what a lot of Kentucky fans our age, Carson, you know, that 23, 24, 25, like this is all we know. This is all we know. And and I, I will say this, and somebody, you know, a little older than us, if anybody has a thought on this, I can't think of a more surprising coach hire in college athletics that I can think of that comes to brain immediately that just happened like this. I I was I'm still in a state of shock from this. I was not expecting this. I don't think anybody was expecting this. Even like, you know, uh, KSR, it seemed like they were like, whoa, you know, they were surprised last night. Like it, this was crazy. But now it looks like the Cats might need a new coach. So Carson, I mean, like, what are your thoughts on this? How, what was your reaction? Where's your head at? I was definitely shocked. I mean, especially after last week, Mitch and Cal getting post posting that video yeah. on BBN tonight of them being together and talking about how the relationship isn't bad and how Cal is going to come back and do these great things. So uh, it was definitely shocking uh, for sure. I, I just like, I can't believe he went within the sec. If he would have taken like, and then, you know, now the reports have come out. Uh, Coach Cal didn't feel supported. And, you know, we've seen those reports come out. But, I mean, I just can't believe he's within the confines of the SEC. And I'll tell you this. I, I haven't seen the schedule. But if John Calipari is coming to Rupp Arena next well, year. We play them at home next year. Like, factu like factually? Like, we know that? We we flip. Remember, we played there this year. It's always yeah, one you're right. Two. That That's yeah. – that's that's going to be one of the most anticipated college basketball games in a very long time. How much are the tickets going to be, you think? A lot, a lot of money. A lot of money. <laughs> I just – I think the point here is is I get that he didn't feel the relationship, but this is just – I mean, why? Why go out and do – well, first rates me is what – how he came out and – we're going to change things. We're, you know what I mean? All that stuff during his radio show to really pump up the crowd to give a state of the union. I got this. Believe in me. Trust in me. Mm -hmm. I'm going to Arkansas. I, I just don't. And I, I, I agree. He, he shouldn't have on his radio show been like, well, I'm thinking about maybe going to Arkansas. You know what I mean? I'm not saying like, but like Jerome Tang turns his job down. Um, Chris Beard turns his job down and John Calipari goes. What? Like, and I'm not, you know, Eric Musselman, I think, built something pretty great there. I think Coach Kyle Perry will have success at Arkansas. And I also think that this was a, a sometimes divorce is a good thing. And I think this perhaps is what that was, you know. And Kentucky needs a fresh start. I, I felt that we did, but here's the deal. It wasn't going to happen because Coach Kyle Perry is sticking around. Now we're getting that, and – but what it's going to come down to, Carson, and then give me any final thoughts on Calipari in this situation, but where do we go from here? That is the very important conversation. And lastly, this is not – I mean, I think this is about as official as it can get. You, I want to add, if he comes back, if, <laughs> if he comes back, that would be even crazier than him going. So, while it's obviously not like Arkansas basketball hasn't tweeted, welcome Coach Calipari, it sounds like it's just about everything but signed. But, so Carson – who do we go get? Yeah, um, my short list. Um, I I think Mitch definitely has to make a splash higher here. Yes. Um, I think this this honestly, it was a perfect divorce in my opinion yeah. because you avoid the buyout, so you save thirty three million dollars, and you you pretty much let Cal walk. Um, so 
So if you're going to hire a coach, you can buy out the whoever you want to mm-hmm. go and get. But my my short list kind of looks like uh, my first call, of course, would be Hurley from UConn. Uh, yeah. I would I would make him tell you no five and, and times. You, and you think do, what do you think he will say? I I think he's going to say no. Honestly, I'm torn. I agree with you. I'm torn because. I mean, we could up his salary by four to five million dollars. We could, I, yes, we could do that, and that's a lot of money, and it's Kentucky. So, like, I don't know, both those things. I, it'll be. I would say Hurley. I'd put it at forty percent. I'd say forty percent chance, a little under fifty. Um, but then, then I would go. I would shoot for Nate Oates. Right, that's after, who. I, that's my number right one after guy. Hurley. I would call Nate right after Hurley, yeah. and then if Nate. If, if that doesn't work out, uh, I've heard that Billy Donovan is actually interested in the coaching job. I would go yeah. after Billy D. So I have a NATO's question for you. I, and once again, it's funny because this question is going to sound silly because he was just in the Final Four. But do you believe in that system and the what he does? I, he loves the threes. Do you believe in that? Statistically and like analytically, I think it is the right system. Mm-hmm. I just think that um, hopefully he would implement a better system on defense because yeah. his defense has always really struggled. But I mean, he's always had the best offense in the country. I mean, yeah. it's not nothing new. Even when he was at Buffalo, they had mm-hmm. a fantastic offense, and they they ended up beating freaking Arizona when they had Aiden in the tournament. We played him, mm-hmm. um, but I I think here he could get pretty much who he wanted because yeah. I mean, it is Kentucky. Um, so I think he could fit in perfect here and he's fiery. He's a fiery guy. He'd yeah. fit the fans. The fans would love him here. Um, I think it would work out for both parties, honestly. Yeah. I, I'll tell you, I, I think that, I think that Hurley is going to say no and not because, I mean, I just think, and honestly, I don't know why I think that. I just think this dude, which funny thing about Kentucky, there's a national championship game tonight and no one cares, which is hilarious. No. And that but, that's so Cal, isn't it? it like yeah. he just he would he's like, Yeah, I'm gonna wait till the championship game and I'm gonna go yeah. to Arkansas. So no one gives a crap about the championship game at all. Yeah, I I just don't I, I I don't know why I think he's going to say no. I just think, and I get that we can upgrade his salary and anybody that would turn down four or five mil, but do you not think UConn can say, we'll match it? Do you not think UConn would match it to keep him? I don't know if they, they can or not. I'm just Yeah, that's, that's my thing. I don't know what their, their thing situation. looks like. I don't know what that looks like for them. That's, that's where my holdup is because if they can't even get remotely close to matching yeah. that, then I think we do have an actual good shot at bringing him in. Yeah, and I mean – He's just an incredible basketball coach. Every every time I, I hear him. him talk, I'm like, I loved him before we even realized Cal was gone. Yeah. I I mean, I watched this dude. I and I'm never like this. Like normally, I'm Kentucky or nobody. Like yeah. I I I'm this. I dislike other teams. Um, but I I mean, I kind of fell in love with Dan Hurley. I would if if he is the next Kentucky basketball coach, I will be over the moon, and you won't be able to tell me anything about it. And you don't want to. I, I, I just, I think if you have Dan Hurley, we're a, an elite eight team like every year. Like, I mean, like with what he's going to be able to do and he can get talent at UConn. I'm not saying he can't, but what he can do here will be insane. Mm-hmm. I just, um, I'm just telling you, I, I think that he's going to be able to do something really special here. I think, I think Dan Hurley and, and even maybe Nate Oates, I think, but definitely Dan Hurley. I think Dan Hurley can help you chase uh, UCLA. I mean, I, that dude, I, I just I, – I see him winning at least two titles here if he comes. Yeah, I, I mean, I think he might get you 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. I mean, like, yeah. he's a special coach. And how old so, is he? He seems a, he seems younger. He – I think the – um. Let me, let me look it up. I think the, the not a ton of hair situation makes him look a little older than he is. Yeah, but he's he's got all the energy in the world. Oh, he's a beast. All right, he yeah. is – 51. Yeah, that's young. Yeah, I, I thought I would have guessed he was like 56 or 57. Yeah, you got yeah. you got plenty of time with him too. Good yeah. lord. That's so I, I'll be honest with you. If I, right now you said Andrew, who do you think is gonna be 
Kentucky's next head basketball coach, I would say Nate Oates. That's my immediate guess, early reaction. But I also wouldn't be surprised to see Dan Hurley. I wouldn't be surprised to see Donovan. I wouldn't be surprised that some of these names like Scott Drew. I, 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 Scott Drew wouldn't do it for me, I don't think. I don't I, think I, he would do it for the Kentucky job. I, he's not fiery enough. I mean, he's a great coach. Don't get it wrong. I think he's a great coach. Yeah. But I just don't see him filling the shoes of a Kentucky coach. Yeah. So I don't. To me, it is those three names we've discussed. Hurley, Nate Oates, Donovan, or Bust. I, I think that's right here. If you make one of those three hires, I am over the moon. If it is anybody else, unless there's a name that you can think of, Carson, or anybody wants to leave a comment, anybody else, I am I'm I mean, it's not like I'm gonna like punch a wall if I mean, maybe I would punch a wall if they hire Scott True. I mean, it's just because I'm with you. It's like he's a good basketball coach. We can't be like, well, he's awful because he's not. But is he? Yeah, he's won a championship at Baylor. Yeah, Kentucky's job is different than a lot of people. You know, a lot of people need to understand that. This is not – there's expectations here that need to be met. There are – you have to recruit at the high level, which shouldn't be hard. It should be pretty simple to sell this vision. But I think it's those three names or, or, or bust for this team. In my opinion, I got a question for you, Andrew. Hear me. I mean, hit me. Um, <laughs> it's early. Um, yes. Who has a better record next year, Kentucky or Arkansas? You know, obviously, we'll have to see how it shakes out. But I, I just, I think. Well, I'm just never, saying, as of right now, right knowing now, like, yeah. Well, I'll tell you this. I, I and I and we'll have another show about this. If I had to guess, I think every Kentucky commit's going to go. Maybe Travis Perry will stick around just because he's the hometown kid. That'd be the only one. I don't – you know what I mean? I think mm-hmm. – I, I saw some reports that Arkansas has already reached out to these kids, which, first of all, I don't even – is that even like – No, no. The the report was that the Kentucky staff was calling and recruiting the kids to Arkansas. Yeah. So, maybe that's – you know, they're – so, I think you're going to lose a lot of those guys. And then, like, what happens with a big Z, a DJ Wagner, you know what I mean, and a Du Fierro? What happens – And you know what? You know what's funny? I I wouldn't say I'm more confident now, but it might seem that way. I think I'm almost more confident that Reed comes back now. Mm, interesting, but interesting because I don't know Reed. Reed ain't going to Arkansas. I, mm-hmm. I don't. I don't. You know what I mean? No. I don't think that that ain't happening. That no. would that would be the most painful thing ever. No, but, Reed's here for the front of the jersey. Trust me. That, yes, exactly. But. I guess, you know, and if you look at this, okay, Nate Oates, right? He's got two five stars. He had two McDonald's All Americans. Like, and then, of course, oh, if Nate Oates Oates comes here, I mean, look, we have a Final Four roster. Yeah. I mean, he, they return almost every single player from that team. Is Sears back? Sears is back. I mean, yeah, I don't, um, it it just would depend if, like, that Rylan Griffin, does that kid go to the NBA? But my point here is, is, you know, Nate Oates, whether it was with some of the Alabama players, his recruiting class at Alabama, or the portal will fill a roster. He's proven that. Hurley, same thing. I don't know much about who Hurley's got committed, but he will fill a roster and one that I I'll tell you this right now. If you get if you get Hurley, uh Kentucky wins more basketball games than Arkansas next year. I'm not, I don't even want to it's I don't think it's conversation. <laughs> like no disrespect to Coach Cal, but I mean this dude, I mean, what has he done in the last five I, years? If, I'll time? tell you what, if we get Hurley, I remember how young I was when Cal became the head coach. I actually went to his little induction ceremony. I it, I was, in, I think, like Nipers. maybe into second grade, third grade. Um, I would have the same juice I had for Cal if we got Hurley. Yeah. I would be jumping up and down, yeah, losing my mind. I, and I, I feel good about Oates, too. I feel good about Donovan. Yo, no, I, I would feel I great about Oates, too. Hurley is, is, is here. And yeah. Those names, and then there's more names, but Hurley is – once again, I would, I would, you know, go up and go, go up and talk to her. The worst she can say is no. Call yeah. him a hundred times. Now, I wouldn't take that advice. Um, <laughs> yeah, but, 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 but with Hurley, you know, call him a hundred times. Make him say no. So go, call her a hundred times. You might get blocked. <laughs> yeah. Yes. That was not the advice I was spreading around. Don't know. <laughs> yes. But that's what I would do. That's what I would do is I would, I would, 
go after and say, I mean, pursue Hurley hard because he can is going to be a, I mean, and I, I think, I think Billy D would be a great hire too. I just, the only questions I have with him is he left college basketball because he didn't like the whole recruiting landscape. Yeah, some people don't. Some and, people don't. and nowadays it's even worse. Yeah. Than when he was coaching in college. Yeah. So yeah, that's my only question there. Uh, no, no doubt. He's won back to back championships at Florida. He's, yeah, he, hell can basketball he can do it. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, with, with all, with the information we have now, I mean, we'll, of course, we'll have an episode when uh, a candidate is, is, is zeroed in on, we'll have a show when we have a coach, we'll talk about what happens to the players. We, we'll be, we'll be busy individuals this week. Um, but Carson, any other thoughts on this situation as we sit right now? Um, I'm no longer eating Tyson chicken nuggets. They, yeah, those funny. are those are completely out of my yeah. diet. Yeah. Um, there you, well, <laughs> yes, there you go. That's I, I, I'm with you. I'm with you on that. Yeah, no more Tyson chicken nuggets for me. Yeah, but uh, I mean, I think I think it worked out best for both parties. I mean, Arkansas is getting a great coach. They're going to be good. Their fans yeah. are crazy. They're great basketball yes, fans. They love the great sport. arena. Yeah, yeah, they're they're awesome. I mean, I, I like that. I like Arkansas fans. Um, mm-hmm. so the, they're going to have a great time with Cal. You know an Arkansas um, fan. So, and I think I think we needed a restart. What 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 were you saying? Do you even know an Arkansas fan? No, no, I meant like the passion. Oh. Like they, they're oh, yeah, all okay. Fans. I was like, who do you know that's an Arkansas? Well, fan? I do know one, uh, Luke Lamb, but um, wow, but Ron, <laughs> Ron, um, but yeah, I, I think it worked out best for yeah. both parties, and now we can get energized about a new coach. So. Exactly. There's as much. This is exciting. Like getting a new coach is fun. Getting new players is fun. This is a lot of fun that Kentucky fans are getting ready to have. Because I think I think most fans at this point, when when we knew Cal was coming back or thought Cal was coming back, we we're like, uh, like we couldn't really get too it's hard excited. To be yeah, yeah, you couldn't get juiced because even though he has a great class coming in, and even though he tells you he all these year. wonderful things, the past yeah. couple of years have been like terrible. So yeah. I mean, I think. I think it worked out perfectly for both parties. Yeah, I, I'm with you. So that'll do it for us today. Go over to Wildcats today, the website. Go see us on Facebook, on Twitter. And, I mean, we'll have – I've got a million things to get written today. So a lot of fun content coming there. You know, hit the subscribe button and the like button here. We're going to have a ton of episodes this week breaking this down about everything. Who's going to be the new coach? Where are the players going to go? What happens with the portal? We'll break all that down this week. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be busy. Hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, the thumbs up, all that. Keep you know when we're here. Uh, we're doing it. So we'll be busy. Um, and we're excited about it. It's going to be a fun week here at the Wildcats Today podcast. But everybody have a great rest of your Monday. Hopefully this maybe excites some folks on a Monday. It makes it a little bit better than the normal Monday. But we'll see you next time. We'll be seeing you a lot this week. Really appreciate y'all being here and everybody have an outstanding Monday.